Hello Oswego. Welcome to June. It's Miss Bushnell again with our weekly music lesson. This week we're going to focus in on music and mindfulness and being able to just cope with our everyday issues that we may be having, especially with having to stay home all this time. So for our Kingsford Park students, we've been doing a lot with mindfulness this year, but not everybody may be aware of what mindfulness is. Basically, mindfulness is just dealing with what's happening now, being in the present, thinking only about what's going on with us right now, not worrying about what's going on 10 minutes from now, not worrying about what happened this morning or yesterday, and just getting in touch with how we are physically and emotionally and mentally feeling. What you're going to be doing when you're being mindful is paying attention to how your body feels, what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you're smelling, all of those things. So let's start off by getting into our mindful bodies. And what that means is just sitting up nice and straight in a comfortable position. For some of you, it might be crisscross applesauce. For some of you, you might want to put your legs straight out in front of you, whatever's comfortable for you. And in order for your body to be mindful, you need to let your body be very still and very quiet. I like to close my eyes when I'm sitting in mindful body, but you don't have to. If you're not comfortable with that, you can just focus on maybe a spot on the floor or something if there's a picture on the wall that you want to focus in on. The important thing is to have your eyes staying in the, the same place, not looking around or any of that. So let's try that. Everybody get into your mindful body. And let's just do that just for a few seconds. Check in with yourself. See how you're feeling today. Okay, so before we move into our next section with our other music teachers, let's spend just a minute or so doing what we call rhythmic breathing. And basically what that's doing is you're controlling your breathing. I'm gonna be beating a, um, a tempo on the drum and we're gonna be inhaling or breathing in for four beats or four counts and then we'll be exhaling for four. And that entire time try to stay in your mindful body and really just focus in on your breathing, okay? We all in our mindful bodies? Okay, what, what you can do is keep the beat with your hands on your legs. Okay, just back and forth. Okay, and that's going to help you concentrate on the beat and on your breathing also. Okay, so go ahead and start patting your legs. Okay, get ready. Breathe in. patting the beat and just breathe normally. I'm going to count down and we're going to stop. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Take a nice deep breath in and out. One more. And when you do the rhythmic breathing, 
your body has no choice but to relax and calm itself down. So if you ever find yourself stressed or just nervous or anything anxious about something, just go ahead and do some nice deep breathing. You can pat your legs if that helps, if the rhythmic breathing does a good job for you. So it's very, very helpful. Okay, thanks. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Hi, it's Mrs. Myers, Layton music teacher. So this week we're talking about mindfulness and there's mindfulness in music, mindfulness in everything that we do. Um, I'm going to focus on being a mindful listener. So when you do this, it's great to sit in a comfortable position. Um, you could do this sitting up, you could do it laying down, um, you could do this inside, outside, uh, try it with someone who's at your house and at the end of the time you can talk about what you heard, see if you could come up with a list, see if your lists match. It being mindful is just all about kind of being in the moment, being present in the moment. So this exercise, um, you can do anywhere. We are going to listen to our surroundings and I have you outside and I wanted to show you, I don't know, just something pretty, give you something pretty to look at. Um, so we're gonna listen, there's lots of sounds around us. So we're gonna try 20 seconds and we're just gonna listen. Now, as you listen, I want you to think about what you hear. 20 seconds, we're just going to sit quietly and listen. Here we go. Okay, that was 20 seconds. So what did you hear for 20 seconds? I heard birds, I heard a car going by, I heard my dog walking in the stones. Um, we're gonna try it again. This time we're going to go for 40 seconds. Okay, what did you hear that time? I heard my dog drinking our pool water. I heard more birds, heard another car go by. I don't know if you're experiencing this, but a lot of times I forget to keep track of what I'm hearing. My mind starts to wander. So have that be a challenge that you're directing your mind to listen to what you hear and that's it you're not thinking about anything else you're just listening to what you hear make a list whether you write the list down or you just have the list in your head tell someone about it um, so what you can do I'm not going to do this with you we just did 20 seconds wasn't very long we did 40 seconds try doing a minute a minute is 60 seconds. Try doing a minute and a half. Like see how long you can do that. Just sitting quietly, listening to what's around you. Um, you might want to try this early in the morning. Try it at lunch. Try it sometime at night. Try it inside, outside. 
see what sounds you hear. Maybe you can find patterns. Um, you could do this once and be done with it, or you can go back and repeat this activity. Um, what's the benefit of this? Well, if you can learn to direct your listening, focus your brain, um, it's gonna help you like when we do get back in the classroom um, or if someone's talking to you, it helps you become a better listener. Um, try this exercise. Have a conversation with someone and then try to, you know, like maybe 30 seconds, listen to someone talk and then see if you can repeat any of what they told you. It doesn't have to be word for word, but main ideas. Um, practice this a lot and becoming a better listener is a really great thing that you can learn to do. So I hope you find some peace doing these exercises. Um, I'll include in my video um, some recordings I made. Um, you have to guess the sound. So I'll put some of those on there and we'll see if you can guess the sound. Um, you can email me what the sounds, what you think the sounds were, and I'll respond to you by email whether you got it right or wrong. I'll tell you what the actual sounds are. Okay, so bye for now. Enjoy your week and we'll see you next week. Miss W here from Riley School. This week in music, we have been talking about ways to connect with music. You were talking with Miss Bushnell about breathing, and you were talking with Mrs. Myers about listening. And today, we're with me. We're gonna do listening and breathing and movement. We're gonna connect all those things together with some music. I'm out here in my backyard and i've got my yoga mat set up if you don't have a yoga mat at home that is okay you can move along with me in any other way okay just find some open space we're going to use a song written by a composer named felix mendelssohn and you can learn a little bit more about him by following along with this song so we're going to move around our bodies a little bit of yoga inspired movement to connect to some music today. Like I said, this song is by Felix Mendelssohn. So I'm gonna get my myself all situated. I've got my yoga mat here.
just a little bit today. If you want to do this again, or you want to find a song that you connect with to move around with, I'd love to see what you do. This is just some yoga inspired movement to go with music. You can do any kind of movement along with music. You can dance, you can jump rope. That would be so cool to jump rope along with a song. Oh my gosh, can you imagine how much you would sweat? You can skip, you can run. A lot of people like to get active in the summertime by listening to music and running or doing activities. So make sure you're connecting with your music, with your body and with your mind. Make sure you're being mindful and connecting with yourself. Have a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye.